at some point you may need something on a track you can't do yourself. So you might need a singer. That, you know, for me, I need a singer. Um, you might need a string player. You might need a mix engineer. You might need a mastering engineer. Um, collaborating with other musicians can help you spark new ideas and lead to more creative and diverse music. Collaboration helps you grow your network, giving you more options later. So I made a lot of connections through being an artist, but they haven't just helped me releasing as an artist because the people that I've collaborated with to release as an artist also you know, often want to do uh, sync work or ghost production. So the more connections you have, the more options you have later in your career. Collaborating with other musicians can help to expose your music to new audiences and increase your fan base, what we discussed. The more interested parties on a track, the more reach you have for a potential success. And extra writers can help to ensure quality. Everyone lends a different perspective and skill set. So these last two are the interesting ones. So remember them um, because we can prove this. The average number of writers on a modern hit song is 4.85. 80% of UK number ones have five or more writers. And apparently, the more writers, the better. According to research done by Music Business Weekly, based on information stored in the ASCAP and BMI databases, so for those of you that don't know, ASCAP and BMI are the American equivalent of PRS, the average number of songwriters for the top 25 streaming hits of 2018 in the US was 6.48. The top 20 was 7.3, the top 15 was 8.13, and the top 10 was 9.1. So the higher you go up the chart, the more average collaborators you have on tracks. So the more successful a track, the more average collaborators there were on them. In fact, the only track in the top 25 in the US in 2018 of the streaming hits with just one credited writer was Ed Sheeran with Perfect. And even Ed Sheeran eventually released a version with Beyonce and um, a version with someone else. And there's a producer on it, and I'm sure a mix engineer and mastering engineer. If you want to check this for yourself, you can look at the writers of any song on Spotify. Uh, you can probably do this on Apple Music and uh, uh, the other streaming platforms uh, as well. But I use Spotify, and Spotify is quite easy to use. So. You just come to these dots over here, and you can click Show Credits. So for example, let's have a look at Havana by Camila Cabello. 1.8 billion streams, so quite a good song to look at. Havana, So this song has 10 writers on it. It was a massive hit, by the way. I mean, 1.8 billion streams on Spotify. Not many songs make it that far. Two artists slash performers on Spotify. The way of saying artists is performers. This doesn't mean this is the only people that performed on the track. Uh, one producer. And another side effect of having so many writers, you have a lot of publishers because Every writer tends to have a different publisher, which kind of makes the, the contracting and the legals a bit of a nightmare. You can learn a lot by looking at songs you like on Spotify, looking at this, the credits, and looking at the names of who these are written by. And chances are you'll see the same names pop up a few times. So keep note of those people, because we'll get into that later. Oh, also, Pharrell Williams helped write this song. Another song. This is um, a more recent one. This is Heartbreak Anthem. Collaboration between David Guetta, Galantis, and Little Mix. So three massively high-profile artists. Uh, let's have a little listen to the song. This has had 395 million streams on Spotify. This ain't a heartbreak anthem. I don't care what happened, but I ain't got no time to dwell. So, 
very, very kind of cheesy mainstream track. Uh, but the amount of work that went into this song was unbelievable. I mean, you can even see, you can already see that this is a collaboration between three big artists. So I kind of, when I saw this had come out, I wondered how this had come about. So there's 14 writers on this. There's eight producers. Um, there's actually nine producers because something about electronic music, often producers will use um, pseudonyms. So Sonder, I don't know if anyone knows Sonder. It's, um, it's two guys. So there's actually nine producers on this. This song came about because Galantis wanted to do a collaboration with David Guetta. So uh, this guy here, David St. Fleur, set up a writing camp to write uh, 40 songs. They invited along 40 songwriters. They wrote 40 songs all on Galantis' original instrumentals. Of the 40 songs that, they were, that were written, they decided this one, Heartbreak Anthem, was the best one to come out of that camp. Uh, this one, Heartbreak Anthem, it was written by five writers on a Galantis original instrumental. They then wanted to pitch this to David Guetta, but they felt it wasn't quite there yet. So two producers made two different versions of the track, uh, Tom Bridges and Johnny Goldstein. Uh, Tom Bridges created a house version of the track. Johnny Goldstein created di a disco version. They then sent both of those versions to David Guetta. Uh, David Guetta preferred the disco version, but kept the vocal chops from the house version. David Guetta then created four new versions before they sent off to singers. They sent off to singers. Uh, Bebe Rexa turned it down. Miley Cyrus turned it down. A lot of high profile artists turned down this song. Eventually, because the writers were working with Little Mix on something else, they managed to get Little Mix on the track. And Little Mix's vocal producer, Little Mix had just come down from four members to three members, so they were coming down from a little bit of publicity, so they were quite a good bet for this song. Little Mix's vocal producer got all three of them to record every single line in this song, and then they chose the best takes from each line. So, pff, an unbelievable amount of work into one song. And I think most people listening to it probably wouldn't realise 